Hey everyone, this is T Frank, and today I'm taking a look at the ZTE Blade X Max for Cricut Wireless. Big shout out to the ZTE community for getting this device out to me. The phone is currently priced at $129.99 on Cricut's website, but you can pick it up for $99 if you do a port in. Jumping right into the specs included on the back of the box, we have a large 6 inch Full HD display with Dragon Trail glass. We have a 13 megapixel rear camera and 5 megapixel front facing camera with HD video. We have a fingerprint reader on the back and this phone does feature Dolby Audio. Here are some other important specs that I'll let you read for yourself and then we'll go ahead and check out what's included in the box. So on the screen protector here, we're greeted with the following message from Cricut Wireless. And one of the first things that popped in my mind when picking this phone up was how closely it resembles the Z Max Pro, with the exception of the ZTE in the top left hand corner. So flipping this phone over to the back and one of the most obvious differences being that the back of this phone has a glossy, more fingerprint prone type of finish to it. And we also have some Cricut and ZTE branding on the back. So back to the front, we have a very familiar design with the three capacitive buttons down at the bottom. And underneath that, we have the USB type C port and mic. On the right side, we have the textured power button and the volume rockers. At the top, we have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and another mic. On the left, we have the nano SIM and the micro SD card slot. Now that the plastic has been removed from this device, I'm gonna go ahead and boot this bad boy up. I set it up off screen using the previous Android device and it's still loading some of my apps. So while it's doing that, I'll go ahead and show it next to a few other phones that I have near me at the moment. So here it is next to my LG G5 and my Z Max Pro. Moving the LG G5 to the side, you can see how closely the Blade X Max and the Z Max Pro resemble one another. I'm not really sure how I feel about the back finish on the Blade X Max. Um, I'm not too fond of the Cricut branding on the back as well, but that really is minor to me. Um, the most important thing for me right now is to test out Nougat and to see how this device performs as my daily driver for the next few weeks or so. So let me know in the comments if you plan on picking one of these up or if you already have one. And as always, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. This is T Frank and I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.